Um, you know, it was a very different approach to, to the Jim Henson book because with Jim Henson, I had the family on board. So I was able to interview them and I was able to interview their colleagues. Uh, George Lucas is notoriously private. He does not participate in anything. So I had to really approach this one sort of the way I approached Washington Irving, which was an archival research book. Uh, and it actually worked out a lot better that way because from what I understand, he's very much a control freak and probably would have wanted to control the narrative. So it worked out much better just treating it as if this all happened 100 years ago and looking everything up and finding everything I, that had been written, interviewed, filmed, anything I could read on. I watched every director's commentary that he had done. So it was a matter of sort of gathering all that information together and it was a ton of information. Um, it, it just it took up a huge table. I had to actually end up writing in my dining room because it was the only table I had that was big enough to hold everything. So it was, it was a huge research project, and so then it was a matter of sort of like culling all that together and figuring out what the narrative was, where the arc was, uh, and then trying to tell the story from there. But it was just, there's just so much information available and so many, the guy talks way more than he thinks he does. So tons and tons of interviews and great things to go through, and a lot of uh, things with him telling the story, which is what I really like to do as a biographer, is I try to get out of the way and let them tell the story. And with him, it was actually really easy, which surprised me. There was a lot of stuff out there.